Green light for green energy. The British government wants to transform the United Kingdom into a Saudi Arabia of wind power. Well, German companies also want to get involved in the expansion. After an auction, German companies can also participate in the expansion of wind power off the British coast. The Karlsruhe Energy Group NBW and the British BP were awarded the contract for an almost 3 gigawatt wind farm off the east coast of Scotland, according to information on Monday. They pay an option fee of £85.9 million, pounds, according to Crown Estate Scotland, which manages the seabed because it belongs to the Crown. The project is one of a total of 17 that have been approved, said the Scottish offshoot of the Royal Property Manager. The maximum total output of the projects is around 25 gigawatts. According to Crown Estate, the Baiva Group was also successful with an offer. The Munich-based company is planning a floating wind turbine with an output of 960 megawatts and will pay an option fee of 33 million pounds. For NBW, the wind farm means a significant expansion of its energy generation at sea. To date, the group has commissioned four offshore wind farms with a total output of one gigawatt. More are planned at the time. According to the information provided, the new project can supply more than 3 million households with wind power. The approximately 860 square kilometers area is almost 60 kilometers off the coast of Aberdeen. The advantage is a shallow water depth of 60, uh, 65 to 75 meters, which NBW knows from the North Sea, according to Michael Klaas, head of uh, generation portfolio development. Depending on the turbine output then available, 150 to 190 wind turbines could be anchored in the ground. From 2026-2027, the Morven wind farm is to be built, which means child of the sea in Scottish Gaelic. A final investment decision has yet to be made. According to NBW Chief Technology Officer um, Georg Stamatelopoulos, the costs cannot yet be quantified but you can calculate around 2,000 euros per kilowatt hour. Morven is another cooperation between BP and NBW. Last year, they were awarded contracts for two projects in the Irish Sea, which are said to have a total capacity of up to 3 gigawatts. According to NBW CEO Frank Mastiot, together they are the largest offshore project in the company's history. Stamatelopoulos justified the fact that the Karlsruhe Group is so active off the British coasts with a pioneering role of the United Kingdom in the offshore market. A proven compensation model and a regulatory framework would give security that investments are profitable. Compared to Germany, the expansion targets and the upcoming projects are significantly larger. Well, they have more coasts than Germany does. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson wants to transform the United Kingdom into a Saudi Arabia of wind power. By 2030, his government wants to provide 40 gigawatts of offshore wind power, which is 10 gigawatts more than previously planned. Then all households should receive green electricity. According to the Department for Economic Affairs in London, this is an important stepping stone for the planned goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. ANBW board member Stamatelopoulos assured, we do not neglect Germany. That's a good thing. In 2010, NBW built the first German offshore wind park, uh, Baltic One, in the Baltic Sea. It operates two wind farms there and two in the North Sea. In addition to projects planned here, the company is gaining a foothold internationally, for example, in France. And Crown Estate Scotland Chief Simon Hodge said about this, Today's results are a fantastic vote of confidence in Scotland's ability to transform its energy industry. Just months after hosting the UN Climate Change Conference COP26, the auctions marked a major step towards a greener economy. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon called the plans a truly historic opportunity on the way to net zero. She announced billions in investments in green jobs. 
The waters around Scotland are known for large oil and gas deposits, but the Scottish governing party SNP, which allied with the Greens in 2021, wants to reduce the share of fossil fuels and promote renewable energies. Experts are sure that thousands of workers from the oil industry can be successfully retrained, a development that is also taking place at NBV and was used as an argument as Stamatelopoulos said. And just one little point I want to bring in in the end. When Scotland does have another independence referendum, if the Scottish people decide for independence, a lot of this wind power will be Scottish and not British. Just saying. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.